Download Festival, the largest rock and metal festival in the UK and one of the biggest in the entire world. This year marks its 20th anniversary, so they've extended the festival into a four-day event. 100,000 people, over 100 acts, four days, four stages, two guts. Download Festival. Are you ready for the greatest night of your life? Here at Download Festival in the UK. Hailstorm are on in the background. If you can't hear me at all, I'm sorry. This year is the special edition 20th anniversary of Download Festival. And we are here. It is an extra day added. And we're here on the first day, Thursday. So we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday ahead of us. We're gonna be vlogging the entire experience the whole time we are here. Right now, we just got in and I'm very hungry. I am very, very hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast this morning. So first thing to do is listen to Hailstorm while we, while we search for food. Food. I want the cheese, but I can't have the cheese. Okay, food acquired. My cheese. My cheese. And bacon. And mayonnaise, because I can't have cheese. First food review at a festival. So we're just going to eat food with hailstorm on in the background. I'm already overwhelmed, I'm not going to lie. It was like an hour and a half walk in here from like where we, we got dropped off after like an hour drive. Anyway, yeah, we're just gonna eat our food while Hellstorm plays in the background before we meet back up with everybody to go see Perdebayer. Hello, it's my first time trying some liquid death mountain water. Let's see if it's worth like five dollars or something, I don't know. Actually pretty good water, I'm surprised. It's water, isn't it? We are finally on our way to Perdebayer. I hope we don't miss them. But we ran into TPD TV. Insert clip here. Of, of Lynn celebrating with them. I'm a big fangirl. Big fangirl over I've here. I've never fangirl. Like, I've met so many bands and artists. That was the top. <laughs> TBB TV, now. the top. At Download Festival. Fuck any of the other artists or any of the other YouTubers we like. We made it early to the Perturbator stage. We've lost all our friends and my phone doesn't work. But we made it here. I cannot explain how excited I am for this. Right, we just finished seeing Perturbator. They were amazing. They were so, so good. I'm so glad we got to catch them. We're waiting now at the, the giant Ferris wheel to pick up another member of the crew before we go see Metallica on the main stage behind me here. This Metallica are playing twice. They are playing again on Saturday night, but there's nothing else really on tonight. So we're gonna go see them. I, I could give or take Metallica, but I mean, 
There's literally nothing else on. And they're good. I've seen them live before. They're great. So that would probably be the end of, of today. It's been a mess. Sorry, we'll do real stuff tomorrow. Today is a practice day, it's a half day. We still have three more days of, of, of the festival. So let's grab the rest of the crew, check out Metallica, and then figure out how we're gonna get home. I have no idea how we're gonna get home. I can't believe it. Could Download Festival get any better? They even have Jesus. We have Jesus at the festival. Jesus is my home. Night one, and Lynn has a bag of donuts, a cup of peppermint tea, and she's leaving. I'm ready to go home, eat my donuts, watch some TV. Wait, right, quick donut review. Well, 10 out of 10. She's generous today. It is like 1am, we got back to our Airbnb about midnight, which actually is not that bad because we left the festival at like half 10. Today was a disaster overall, we barely filmed anything, we missed two of the bands that I wanted to see because it took us like two hours after we arrived at Download to even get in, but I'm hoping tomorrow is better and that we actually get to like enjoy the festival and, and film stuff and, and see bands and Pendulum are tomorrow, Bring Me the Horizon are tomorrow, I think Evanescence are also tomorrow so I'm very excited for all those. For now I am going to go take all this off and, um, and go to sleep. Alright, Download Festival, day two. Officially I'm treating this like day number one because yesterday was a half day, it was a fake day. We just got here. We had no issues today getting in. Look at like Lynn. I said. Beautiful. Because I'm a genius. We were ready early, we left early, our bus came straight away. There was no traffic, it was actually fun. So we're here early, we have time to do stuff and see things. I'm so excited. So let's go, let's get in. First real day. Okay, uh, first observation, this is much busier than yesterday. Much, much busier than yesterday. So our plan is we don't have any bands that we like really want to see for like an hour and a half maybe. Epica are on at like 10 to 4. Neck Deep are also on and some of us want to see them. The main band that we can't wait to see is Pendulum and that's at like half 5 and it's like 3 p.m. So right now we're going to go ahead to the co-op and the download mega store for merch. It looks really cool and I believe the Mary Wyatt stand is also up there and they have a really cool like collaboration with download. Let's go. We have to navigate this and then it's like a 20 minute walk on top of that so wish us luck because it is it's hot as you can as you can see it's uncharacteristically hot for the UK they're not even playing why would you do this to us they're not even playing also we are definitely gonna be on this Ferris wheel at some point maybe not today maybe tomorrow because you get an amazing like view of the entire oh, arena sure. from it. Hot milk came on the main stage literally as we were walking off. So we decided we're gonna catch a few minutes of them. Okay, we've begun the long, long trek to the co-op area and the download mega store. It is very hot and it's like a 20 minute walk in this direction. Q simulator. 
2023. We are still in the line for the download megastore. It's been like a half hour. I'm melting. Help. We're almost there. We've almost made it. We've only got like this much more queue to go. It's better be worth it. Finally made it into the download megastore. Finally. <laughs> oh my god, it's full of ducks. I want to stay in here, honestly, not just because we committed to like the long, long way to get in here, but also because it's in the shade. And it's so hot outside, I cannot feel like the difference between here and here. But yeah, it's really cool in here and it's in the shade, so I might hide here until Pendulum comes on, to be honest. Honey, we gotta go see some bands. Playing my game. Right, we finished at the Download Megastore. It was uh, absolutely not worth waiting that long in that queue. But we've seen it and it is cool. And the chill out area is nice. They have a giant fan and chairs and stuff. And I needed that after walking today and yesterday. But we're just on our way back to the main arena now. Neck deep are playing in the background. I don't know if you can hear them. God, that is a lot of people in front of us. That is very many people in front of us. But yeah, we're heading back there. We're gonna get some food. Lynn wants bubble tea, I want a pizza, and then we're gonna watch all of Pendulum. I am not missing one second of Pendulum. We made it back into the arena, we have 20 minutes until Pendulum. We are right by the main stage, but we have to head down and pick up Lynn's bubble tea, and I wanna get some pizza. And then after that is Evanescence. I think we're splitting up. Lynn and Robin might stay and watch Architects to get a good spot for Bring Me The Horizon, but I can't miss Evanescence. And also, Phil Valo is playing at the same time as Evanescence. So I'd like to formally complain right now, whoever made the download schedule, who puts VV on the same time as Evanescence? Come on, like, come on. Anyway, we're gonna grab food and then get ready for Pendulum. Pendulum, woo! Cat Duke Curry is a pan out of pan. Raspberry bubble tea yeah. with tropical pop and pearls, yeah. pan out of pan. And I am still waiting on my pizza and Pendulum are on! Pizza finally arrived and Pendulum are on! This is not what I needed! Hi, we just finished watching Pendulum. They were amazing. They brought out Matt Duke from Bullet for My Valentine for their new song, which is extra impressive because Bullet for My Valentine aren't even playing the festival. What did you think of Pendulum? Amazing. They were so good. They were definitely worth watching. Uh, we just came into the like guest area here to like chill out for a few and use the, the actual toilets, which is which is an absolute blessing. Um, and now, 10 out of 10 toilet. 10 out of 10 toilet. Three toilet, toilet rolls up there. Wow, wow, that's where the money went. It was flooded. Next up is Evanescence at 8 p.m. I'm not gonna see Evanescence, I'm just gonna get a good spot for Bring Me. Fair, okay, I'm going Evanescence on my own. You guys are coming with me. Sorry if you want to see whoever's on before Bring Me. I think it's Architects. So we're gonna head over that way now. I have to get all the way over to the other stage that Evanescence are gonna be on. Um, and maybe get more food because I, I had to like destroy that pizza in two seconds for Pendulum and I didn't really enjoy it. So yeah, let's head over to see Evanescence. Say bye, honey. Bye.
welcome to the Bring Me the Horizon post-human live experience. Download Festival. Are you ready for the greatest night of your life? I think we're in, but we haven't got long. All right, download. Can you hear me? Listen to me carefully. Next gen is your enemy. She don't want to save humanity. She wants to destroy it. Yeah, she's been f***ing me. Matt said he thinks he's f***ing Arnold Schwarzenegger. Live with me if you want to come. You've been warned. I hope you have fun. I'm a nun now. Um, okay. Camera died, so I had to swap to my phone. Apologies for the serious drop in quality and uh, the fact that I look like now and I'm, I'm now a nun. Basically, we got into the pit during Architects to get a good spot for Bring Me the Horizon. So I then didn't leave and I missed Evanescence, unfortunately. But we had an amazing spot for Bring Me. Ollie Sykes literally came down and sang to Lynn specifically. So she's obviously delighted with life and over the moon. But yeah, we decided then to head into the, uh, the guest area to head to a club. Here's some, here's some footage. We're making our way now back to the exit to try and find a bus home. It's gonna be awful, there's no way. Like, no way we're going to make this bus on time. And if we do, it'll be full. But, um, yeah, much more successful day. Like, what the f***? Saw more bands. Missed Evanescence, unfortunately. But Ollie Sykes actually brought Amy Lee out to play a song. So that worked out. I still saw Amy Lee. Does that count? Maybe I'll count that. So tomorrow we have Iceland Kills, Motionless and White, Placebo, which I'm very excited for, and uh, I'm probably forgetting people. And Metallica are the headliners again, so that's going to be um, probably a little bit boring, but either way, I want to try to get on the, the Ferris wheel tomorrow at some point. But uh, yeah, see you, see you in the morning, or maybe I'll update you when we can't get home and we're like stranded out in the middle of nowhere. So see you either one of those things. So, Download Festival, day number three. It is ridiculously hot. It is like 
in the mid 20s we just had to get our bus here and it was boiling like boiling i am dripping wet i am hideously sunburned so i actually wore a makeup makeup today to cover just how red i am and that bus was was hell that was literal hell i have you could drink water from my back right now <laughs> we are just about on time this is the earliest we've gotten here because ice nine kills are on at 2 15 so we're gonna catch them and then straight away we have to run over to catch motionless on the second stage then we have a brief gap where we can get food and hydrate um before we have disturbed and then placebo are on and then metallica is headlining tonight and like i can just go off and get food and relax while metallica are on so we'll see what happens today i did want to try to get on the ferris wheel at some point today but i think it might be a tomorrow thing everyone is very warm and very tired and today is going to be like busy it's back and forth between the main stage and the second stage main stage second stage main stage second stage but yeah so let's pick up by uh, um ice nine kills how is everyone awful yay <laughs> we just got into the festival right by the crying stage lake malice are on we got to get down there for ice nine kills but i need water I'm so desperate for, for any, any kind of hydration right now. I'm gonna die. Waiting on the ice cream now. We made it just in time for Ice Nine, also. Have you ever seen a Gothi and Ice Pop? There you go. Actually, never mind. Who loves orange soda? We actually got a good spot for Ice Nine. We were right up in the pit again, they were unreal. Was the thing. It was then there. we went to hide for a little while in the shade and I went and, and got Lynn a bubble tea. But yeah, we're literally in a queue to get water now, right beside the stage motionless are gonna play because it is too hot. I've already drank like two liters of water, but I need at least another four. And motionless are just coming on now, god damn it! Okay, so we managed to catch Motionless and White. Didn't get the greatest spot, but it was it was good. They put on a very okay performance, but it was just way, 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 way too hot to actually enjoy it. So we decided to come into the guest area and get some food and relax and chill out for a while before we go check out the store. I look like such a goblin because it's just too sunny. It's too damn hot. I am dying. I know I complain in Maraluna when it's hotter and I say, oh, it's so hot and I'm wearing bigger outfits. But that English heat just, it just hits different. It, 
we had to walk across basically the length of the entire festival to get back to the guest area but it's so worth it because it's, it's so much empty around here also they have this really cool ghost photo booth set up that i definitely want to check out in a minute after everyone's like rested and refreshed it looks really really cool it's like a little ghost confessional booth photo booth thing so i'm gonna check that out in a minute lynn's Nun hat is unfortunately at the house because I wore it home last night to, to save my head, but we're doing it. Oh, thank you. We got our little photos, it's so cool. Woo, disturbed. And Lynn and Robin, they're too hot and too tired to walk around, so I left them in the bar in the guest area. I'm running out to try to catch the end of Disturbed. We were kind of watching them from the, um, you can kind of see the screens in the, the guest area, but I want to try to get a good view of them. And then Placebo starts in like 15 minutes, so I want to try to get over and catch some of their set. But yeah, I'm going to try to get a good view for Disturbed now. So if you're curious, this was meant to be the part of the video where Disturbed play Down With The Sickness and then Lynn goes, oh my god, it's corn. That's the bit. Placebo just started and I'm missing them. Still waiting on our friends so I can give them the key to our Airbnb so that I can then go see Placebo and go home. I've been walking for like a half hour now, waited like 20 minutes, bus came down full and I was like oh there's only like 10 people left now, maybe I'll just wait at this bus stop but then so many more people came and I said screw it, I'm just gonna walk up to the next bus stop and hope that there's no one here and that I can get this bus. It's hopefully gonna be that one, hopefully it turns around in a minute. Maybe if we go down I'll just camp because it's easier, it's way easier. I'm tired, I'm burnt, my feet are bleeding. I might be delirious, I might have a mild heat stroke. Tomorrow is the last day, and there's so much I wanna do on the last day. There's still so much I wanna see that we haven't seen in the past three days. And there's so many bands I wanna see as well, and I'm like, maybe I'll just quit on seeing some of those bands, even though I really wanna see them, just to like explore the festival and do more. But yeah, last, last day tomorrow. It is, um, <clears throat> beginning to dawn on me that a four-day festival was maybe not the best idea. Yeah. Hello. Hello. It is the final day of Download Festival. Hello. Day four. It has been a lot. We're all very burnt. Our feet are very blistered. We're very tired. But this is the last day, so we're going to power through. And there's a lot on today. So we made it early enough to catch Jasmine Bean in the Kerrang tent. Oh. Immediately after that, we have to catch Behemoth, which uh, Connor's very excited about. 
Hello. <laughs> so we'll check out half a behemoth set, hopefully. And then after that, I have a brief gap. Lynn and Robin want to go see Palais Royale, but I am going to skip that one myself. Um, and after that, we have Electric Call Boy in the Kerrang tent at seven o'clock. And immediately after, hyper, hyper, we have to try to get to the main stage to catch who? Who are you here for? Slipknot. Yeah, Slipknot. Lynn's favorite band. What's left of Slipknot? What's left of Slipknot? A very dramatic weekend for Slipknot with a member not coming due to family health issues and another member just randomly leaving the band. So be excited to see what goes on with them. But I'm determined to get on that Ferris wheel today. Maybe do some of the fairgrounds, check out some of the markets and shopping. I might have to do it myself. I'm going to die on that wheel. While Lynn and Robin are at the uh, Palais Royale show. But yeah, determined to get some actual stuff done today. going to go on the wheel himself. 28 okay. degrees so in English heat is, is a lot. I coughed up a black hairball. It wasn't a hairball, it was a dirt ball. Yeah, every time I like blow my nose, it's just black. It's crazy. But yeah, so Jasmine being first. A little bit of behemoth and then hopefully some markets on a ferris wheel i want to go on the ferris wheel last day we can do it we can do this i'm dying i'm so hot please help me wow the service at the online festival impeccable We made it on time, caught all of Jasmine being set. Really good, quite short. Brought out a giant Hello Kitty mascot and beat the shit out of it. That's the kind of content that you want to see at Download Festival. It was very sweaty in there. So now we have to try catch the end of Behemoth set, which is over on the main stage. Over there. It's very hot. I am covered in sweat. After that, I have a gap. As I said, Lynn and Robin want to go see Palais Royale. I'm going to skip that, use that time to try shop or have a look around. It's going to be a difficult day. It's meant to rain later and I actually kind of hope it does. But yeah, so now we're going to go check out Behemoth on the main stage. We made it just on time for Behemoth starting our set. Unreal. Okay, we finished watching Behemoth. We actually made it perfectly on time for the start of their set and got to see their whole performance. Can't believe it. They were unreal, so good. I'm not a big like black metal fan, but Behemoth are the one band of that like genre that I absolutely would go see live again. Their stage performance was incredible. Their setup was amazing. They sounded so, so good. So I have some time now. We've stopped for food. Lynn is having some pasta. Pasta is a 10 out of 10. Like I'm just having chips. Dinosaur pile up are on in the background. I prevail are about to come on to the main stage. I think Lynn and Robin are gonna go watch Palais Royale. I'm gonna go check out some of the markets. I don't think I can be arse walking all the way up to the village, but I'm gonna check out the markets and hopefully get to the Sophie Lancaster store. Maybe convince Lynn to get on the Ferris wheel with me at some point. Shopping next. Shopping next. Me and Nurgle here are gonna go check out the Sophie Lancaster tent and then check out some of the markets. We're gonna meet up after that, maybe go to fairground, maybe Ferris wheel, and then catch electric call boys. 
Gardens who are at the Sophie Longhouse this weekend, definitely recommend checking out their website. It is a charity based around alternative subcultures to provide sort of learning and acceptance and a campaign for better treatment of alternative people. It's a very, very sad story behind how the charity started out. Unfortunately, Sophie Lancaster, her and her boyfriend were attacked because they're goths and she unfortunately passed away and they made the charity in her honor. I definitely recommend checking out their website or Instagram if you can and support it. It's a great cause. I'm gonna go check it out right now. just finished at the Sophie Langhaster tent. Like I said, definitely check out their website if you can. I have it along the bottom here now. Had a nice chat with Phil, one of the guys working there, really nice dude. They were almost not at download this year, but thankfully it got sorted. So we're just walking through the rave area now to head down to the market, check out some of the stalls down there, and then we'll meet back up with everyone. Did they just saw you? They did, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I love this, but she's at Palais Royale. Hey, we've made it to the market. And ironically, we can just listen to Palais Royale anyway the whole time while we're shopping. I missed them. Except for you didn't, because they were whipping me. Yeah. We're upside the tent that Electric Cowboy are going to be playing at. So we're just sitting there and resting and getting our energy before we go into that absolute sweat box. But we did just eat, so we should be fueled up for the show. I didn't want to go on the bumper cars. Yes. Yeah. Right yeah. now? No. <laughs> bumper cars. Bumper cars, bumper cars, bumper cars. Yay, we're doing bumper cars.
just finished seeing Electric Cowboy. They played like a straight 90 minute set. It was amazing. There was some weird bits in there, but I expect that from them. Their performance is so good. They deserved a bigger stage, honestly. They deserved a way bigger stage. It was a sweat box in that tent. We're on our way over now because Slipknot started in like literally five minutes. Okay, we caught the end of Slipknot's set uh, and we went to get some food, which you can see here. I just got a Yorkshire pudding with chips and gravy. I didn't get all the stuffing and stuff and the sausages because I can't have that. But this is still dope. This is still so good. The gravy alone, I would just drink that. It's like soup. And download is officially over. Like the four day weekend is over. But we are up here in District X. I didn't get to see the village or District X the entire time I was at the festival, so I'm finally up here getting to see it. I believe there's a haunted house that we might be able to go to. And Benji Webb from Skin Dread is doing a DJ set in the doghouse. So I kind of like want to go catch that because I think that'll be pretty funny. So yeah, let's see what we go do. I hope we go. I really hope we go. We're next. We're next. You could own one of these. Yeah. You could have it outside your house or bring it to Carnival to make money. Lynn got dripped up for the very last night of download. She just found this old him hoodie for 10 pounds. And yes, I'm gonna put home. Right, we're on our way to the doghouse. Hopefully gonna catch the end of Benji from Skin Dreads TJ set. I don't know why I care so much. I just find it kind of funny and I want to see him on the decks. He seems funny.
so at this point camera died we made our way out of the doghouse tried to catch the bus and realized that we had missed the last bus home i was meant to film we got back to the airbnb but we got a taxi and then we just basically passed out and then i said i'd film on the next day and we didn't and here's footage of lynn and i literally getting ready and sitting down with a camera to record the outro for the video today and not realizing until after recording that the microphone just just didn't just didn't work at all the whole time so this video is cursed to not have an ending we had an amazing experience at download we hope that you enjoyed watching and as always until, until next time, time see you in your nightmares, nightmares.